Forgive me, Father, for I have treated my paintbrushes like garbage. If you're like me, then you are moderately to aggressively abusive to your paintbrushes. I wish that I treated my paintbrushes better than I do, but I'm just a really bad studio mate to them. So I want to turn you on to a couple of different paintbrush selections that are durable, they maneuver really well, and they're pretty darn good price. The first one I want to show you is the Princeton Snap Brush. They offer both synthetic bristles as well as hog bristles, but you're probably averaging anywhere from like three to six dollars a brush, so it's a very inexpensive paintbrush. It's really good quality, and if you're like me and you've had situations where you left your paintbrushes out for a long time, and then you put them in oil to let them soften up a little bit, and then forgot them after that for a long time, they actually are still really forgiving. So, this brush had oil paint that was left to dry in it. And then I put this brush in some linseed oil to loosen up the paint and then forgot about it. And all I'm doing right now is wringing it with a paper towel. I'm gonna re-inject it with some linseed oil again. It's starting to get its shape back. I think if I was to clean this out with soap and water, I could probably get it shaped back. So. It's back. Soft bristles. It's got its shape back. It's a little stained, but it's clean. So this brush went from total neglect land to clean. It's a $5 brush and it will forgive you when you are the worst artist to it. When it pertains to large painting, chip brushes are awesome. They're basically big bristle brushes. Now, this whole bag of brushes was like $7 and they come in a variety of sizes. They will lose bristles right at the get-go. So you kind of have to like knock them loose and if you get the ferrules wet or you soak them in oil or things like that, they have a tendency of coming loose. They're so inexpensive that you can replace them. Over the years, I have like glued the ferrules back into the handles. I have stapled them into the handles. I've taped them back into the handles. These bristles actually will last a really long time. And the nice thing about it is that whether you use just like an inch to an inch and a half brush or you get anywhere from like a three to four inch brush, they hold a lot of paint and they cover a lot of area. So on these really large paintings or on an easel painting that you really want to loosen up on, something like a chip brush is a really great option. It costs like seven bucks to give it a try. Like, you know, skip lunch and give it a go. Now I like using really nice brushes and I have several. But there are brushes that I like to consider kind of like my workhorse brushes. And those kind of brushes are the ones that they're going to do a lot of the grunt work in painting. They're going to get neglected. They're going to get beat up. They're going to need to get replaced a lot. So in circumstances like that, I like having a couple of really durable, inexpensive brushes that I know can handle the hard work. But then also, if I'm not so good to them, they'll forgive me.